Breaking news this George Alagaya was a household name and trusted news presenter, a loved family man, friend and colleague, and bowel cancer campaigner. Please make sure you get checked out if you have any concerning symptoms. He spent over three decades delivering the news, joining the BBC as one of its leading foreign correspondents, specialising in Africa and interviewing central political figures like Nelson Mandela. Is there really a renaissance? Is there really a change? It depends who you are, how you look at events. I'm going to take you to places that normally... His impeccable journalism led to a BAFTA nomination and being named Amnesty International's Journalist of the Year in 1994 and he was made an OBE in 2008. Part of his service to people included raising awareness of bowel cancer after being diagnosed in 2014. You don't really know the beginning and you don't really know the end. So I know the day I was diagnosed uh, with bowel cancer, but I don't know when it started. His last tweet was this. He wished he'd had a screening kit. George campaigned with us to uh, successfully get a commitment to lower the bowel cancer screening programme age to 50. And that is, um, it's happening. We're not quite there yet. And he just had this amazing way of connecting with anyone he spoke to. Despite his diagnosis, George continued to bring the nation the news. Today at one, George Alagaya, the much-loved presenter of the BBC News at Six, has died. George's colleague, Clive Myrie, announced the news, with the BBC Director General Tim Davey calling George one of the best and bravest journalists of his generation. The Labour leader said British journalism has lost a talent. What have you got to and tributes have been paid on social media, including recognition of the representation he brought to screens with his family origins in Sri Lanka. From the Six team, it's goodbye. George Alagaya will be remembered as serving the nation until the end.